team turn. Take me out on the water. We fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the great outdoors. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Kamik Law Firm, Kamalan Measuring Tools, Vexlar, Cold Snap, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, today we're up on Castle Rock Lake. It's the fifth largest lake in the state of Wisconsin here. And we're with our good friend, Ryan Salemi from Ice doing? Junkies. I'll tell you good what, here. hey, we really appreciate you guys coming up here and uh, taking off uh, some time off of work and coming up to fish with us today up here on Castle Rock. Hey, you know what, Ryan, I'll tell you what, Ice Junkies has become a very big thing. And I'll tell you, tell us a little bit about it so the people out in our audience can get a little bit of education about what Ice Junkies is. You know, it, it's really come a long way. We're up to 43,000 members. Woo! And uh, we invite everybody from the beginning angler to the pro angler to come and, and join us, be a part of this, uh, the sickness as we like to call it. <laughs> That's a great sickness. You know, Ice Junkies is basically a lot of people just love to ice fish. And women and men, kids. Kids, women, children. And uh, anybody who can't get out on the ice and wants to, to get out or you know has never experienced, get a hold of us, we'll come find you, we'll pick you up, we'll take you out, and we'll put you on fish. Hey, tell people how they can get a hold of you guys. You guys can go to our Facebook page, which, which is Ice Junkies Outdoors, uh, and then our website, www.icejunkiesoutdoors.com. Awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, Ryan, appreciate that. You know what? Let's catch hey, some yeah, fish so we get out of show here. Let's hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens today here up on Castle Rock Flowage with our ice junkie buddies. Thank you. Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org.
try to stick with plastics. I'm a firm believer that you can stick with plastics and and uh, find whatever color combination that the fish are going to want that day. Sometimes it's not all about the live bait. There are those days like last weekend though where I got outfished by the guys with live bait. And that just comes with being stubborn, I guess. Folks might spend a little bit more money on one of these UV lights. What makes these guys glow is the UV light spectrum. You can use any light to get them to do their glow, but sunlight and actual UV light, purple flash on there, is all you need. And you really only need a couple of seconds on there to get it glowing at its max. This was five bucks I picked up at a local retail store. Save a little bit of money there, and hopefully it'll help me put a fish on top here. How's it go? If it doesn't glow, it doesn't go? Sullivan tip drop combined with a beaver dam titanium stick pole set up for crappies or walleyes or whatever you want to fish for. We got it set up for crappies right now, the rosy red. And when the fish takes it, it's going to move this spring barber a little bit before it takes the pole down. This pole will slide into that little groove there. You cannot lose your pole out of here at all, it will not fall out. So if you get set your drag, you have big fish, you can fight them. That's the advantage of the tip drops over the regular tip downs with the schoolies your own pole on here and combine that with these beaver dams they were great had one on before we lost it but maybe we can get one going now see your minnow action nice titanium take nice soft action watch your minnows and the crappie takes it down she goes want this or does he want me to get it? You might as well get it. There you Fish go, Shane. On. Fish on, Shane. Another one. Son of a biscuit. You just lost it? You got a truck of biscuit. <laughs> Dan. That was a monster crappie, dude. Oh. God. Oh, I don't get wet often. Yeah! Woo! We got one. Okay, what's your next outing coming up? We're uh, this weekend up at Fox Lake. Okay, what do you got going on uh, after that? Uh, the week after that is a disabled veterans outing, really? and then the next day is a yellow bass smash. Okay, now where is uh, the veterans outing going to be? This is at? all going to be down in Illinois. Now the, the ice is marginal, so okay. 
We may have, we have some alternate dates and it looks like we may be pushing those off into February. Okay, yep. Uh, it's just gonna depend on the ice, but it's looking pretty soft right now. Yeah, it is. You know, it's amazing how I thought we were gonna come into this winter and have just the absolutely, started off fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Solid, so, hold that fish up, dude, that's a nice fish. Absolutely solid winter, and all of a sudden we got this major warm front coming up. You know, doesn't uh, the big guy upstairs know that we love the ice fish? Yeah. Right. All right, good so job. He punishes us. Right. So yes, he does. Gifts, you know? <laughs> yes, he does. If it was all good all the time, we wouldn't appreciate it as much. Nice job. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors Ice Fishing, a full service guiding ice fishing adventure. We supply all the equipment and provide a hot meal out on the ice. You just need to arrive with a Wisconsin fishing license and get ready to catch fish and have a great experience. We guide seven days a week, are fully insured, use the latest tested tough gear, and will work harder than anyone to put you on fish. To book a trip, please call 920-361-4996. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilaw, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Dave's Engine of Princeton is your new Husqvarna and Oats authorized dealer. Dave's carries top brands like chainsaws, mowers, and snowblowers from Husqvarna, as well as Oats, side-by-sides, ATVs, and much more. Tune-ups, oil changes, belt replacements, or any other problem you just can't put your rag on, Dave's will service and repair all your small engine needs. No job is too big or too small for the Husqvarna team. Go check out their showroom at 101 Mechanic Street or give them a call 920-481-0222. Dave's Engine of Princeton, your new small engine shop. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lance, I'm loving that new 44 Jiffy propane. I love that new gearbox. What do you got going here? Let me get your Vexlar out of the way here. Came off the bottom and slammed it there. It just downsized a little bit. Did you? Yep. Cat, ooh, ooh, that's a nice wall. I hold that one up. Hey, I'll yeah. tell you what, you know, we've been doing a lot of moving around today so far. And yesterday we were up here and it was uh, pretty cloudy and, and the barometer was real low and it was very tough fishing. And I told all the guys yep. and gals from Ice Junkies that today we were gonna crush them. And I'll tell you, so far we are really struggling. We're struggling, you know, <laughs> and that's the way fishing is sometimes. I'm sure that as the, the day progresses, uh, you know, we'll do a lot better. You know, when you're up on these flowages, you and I guide up on these flowages, you know that it's important to have that sun. That sun is definitely the key. I've always said this about these flowages. I've been fishing them for, I don't even know, 30 years, 35. I hate to even say how old I am by telling how long I've been fishing them, Lance. But, you know, when you're fishing the flowages, it's totally the opposite of Winnebago. On Winnebago, most times we don't want the sun. Here, we want the sun. A banker's bite usually from about nine o'clock till about three o'clock is usually the prime time. 
and these fish are really, they must not know that because it's about 10.30 <laughs> it's or 11, time. right 11, because my belly's starting to get hungry, you yeah, know? Nice high pressure here. And yep, so hopefully this fish water. this fishing picks up so we can show these guys a good time out here on the, the Castle Rock Floats. You know, we got a few walleye so far, a few crappies, and uh, you know, that is a legal walleye. This is a that totally is, yep. different scenario than Winnebago again. Uh, no size limit on Winnebago. Here it's a 15 to 20 inch size limit or one fish over 28 for the walleyes, five fish limit so hey uh, at least you got one so far that's keepable yep, come on let's keep her going. yep let's keep drilling i'm gonna keep drilling i want to see how many i want to see how many holes i can get out of that new 44 <laughs> propane auger i bet you i'm up to almost 80 already on it at least. Good size. Holy cow. Woo. yeah uh, I got that one about, I don't know, foot off the bottom, 25 foot of water, a uh, little, what do I have there, the orange colored Castmaster spoon, <laughs> tipped it with a few spikes and came right up off the bottom and got it. Nice fish, 13 incher, put her back to grow. Got that rod bent right over. What the heck? Yeah, nice, nice job. Nice job, I love to see that. Nice job, Ryan. What do you got? Yeah, that's a nicer fish. Holy cat. Boy, that rod, that's a, what do you got? A, like a noodle rod there? It is. He had that sucker bent right over. Good fish. That's a good fish. You gotta like that. So hold them up for the camera. Let's check that out. Now, what were you doing different there? That was my buddy Shane's dead stick that he was not paying attention oh, to. Oh, it's always. I saved it for Wow, what a nice guy you yeah, are, Ryan. You know, Holy cats. Right, that's it, too. And you got rewarded. That's right. Nice deal. We'll take it. Nice take deal. It. So, how many people do you think that you guys have that are involved with ice junkies? Well, right now we've got, uh, I think we just hit our 43,000 mile mark. <laughs> 43,000 people? And how many of them are women? Any idea? At least one. <laughs> You know, because that is a great thing. There's more and more women getting involved in the outdoors, wouldn't you say, Ryan? It is, and it's fun to see. Actually, you know, we're looking for some uh, more women to join our group and to get more involved with uh, our inner core and uh, running some of these charity events. So any of you lady anglers who are interested in, you know, maybe doing this for a living, give us, give us a shout. That sounds awesome. I can't think of a, a better way to spend your time, right? No. We need, we need some more uh, pretty faces to look at. Right, love it. Boy, we certainly drilled enough holes there. We got a spread way out. A little better one. Yeah, Brad said, he's telling us, say it's a small wall. I said, he didn't have any confidence. No. Yeah, I'm like, that ain't no wall. Oh, hey, whoa. Look at that. Now hold that one up. That's, All right. now that's, that's typically, that's a typical size crappie for these flowages, you know, and uh, using your toothpick to get that off. You Perfect, that's awesome. Hold that oh, one up. Nice fish. Now, how long have you been involved in Ice Junkies? Since day one. You Day one, day huh? Day one. Yep. yep. Now, what's your favorite part about the whole organization? The people. The people. That's... There, everybody sh shares, there's no secret, everybody shares information. Uh, if we ever want to take a trip, go anywhere, all we have to do is give a shout out. There's always Somebody. a local that uh, meet us at the boat launch, you know, and take us out. Or... Yep. And that's the way to do it, boy. I'll tell you, you know, in... Most people have to work for a living, and you know that's a huge thing. And you only have so much time. Most guys only have, right. you know, whatever three, four weeks vacation, weekends. So it is nice when you are traveling to another body of water to have that connection dog, somewhere you know, else. Somebody else has already lived there, does, did the homework, you know. Right. So you can just go out there and take their information and, and try to be a little bit more successful in it. Yeah. Awesome. Nice job. Thank you. Hey, I'll tell you what, it was a pretty slow day today up here on Castle Rock, but I'll tell you, we met a lot of new people and we had a great time with the Ice Junkie group. And I'll tell you what, Ryan, hey, what's the future for Ice Junkies? I'll tell you, what a very positive organization. Tell me, what do you got going next? Well, we hope to squeeze in a couple more events before the, uh, the ice leaves, give our members a chance to come out and hang out with us and meet us. Uh, Fox Lake is next weekend. Hopefully after that, we have our Take a Vet Fishing. Oh, awesome. Weekend. Yep. 
and uh, we'll have a booth at the St. Paul Ice Show next year. That's awesome too. Yep, one of the largest ice shows in the country, St. Paul. Hey, and I'll tell you what, what a great organization. Check these guys out for sure. I'll tell you, you'll be very proud and what a great way to learn more about ice fishing. And like I always say, remember, what a great day to be alive. Tight lines. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. We are making bluegill fajitas. I have Noah Kreins, Jeffrey Sobiak, two guys on a football team I've known for quite a few years. We're at Kettle Moraine High School in uh, what's the, what do you call this class? Home ec? Uh, culinary arts. Culinary arts. So we're making something today that most kids don't make at home, do you? All right. Jeffrey, get up here and start making the fish. All right. I already started it. If you guys look, I put the olive oil in and it's getting loose. See how uh, it's moving around in there? We gotta get a spatula, Jeffrey. All right. As soon as it starts turning white, I want you to flip it over. You know how to chop? Uh, yeah. You ever break a head of lettuce? No. Take it, see this knot right here, like your nose? Slam it on the table. Look at it. Ooh, Comes yeah. right out of here, dude. Right. Take a knife, go like this, cut it down. we got, I don't know, 30 kids in here, so we're making about 15, 20 fajitas. Chop them up. All right, this seasoning, it's this regular Spice Island taco seasoning. You get it at all the stores, tell your parents to get it for you if you like it. Ready, dude? Yep. Don't go a lot in there, just about enough to get a coating on it. Let it cook in there and stir it up a little bit. Talk to your talk to your sous chef. Make sure no, everything's going. Three talk minutes up, me. right? All this what stuff. What am there. I doing? <laughs> everything, everything going good? Everything going, everything <laughs> going good. How are you doing? Yeah. Uh, doing pretty good. Chopping's pretty good, yeah. Chopping's Chopping good. Wood? Chopping wood, yeah. Chopping that, wood here. Kettle Marine. Yep. Look at that. One down the middle, Jeffrey. Shotgun knows how to get. Oh heck yeah. No, let's go rock and roll. We got a Jeffrey's way ahead of you. Come on, Jeffrey's way ahead of you. There you go. Lean over. Atta boy, no. Atta boy. Atta boy. Get in there, Jeffrey. <laughs> Get in there, Jeffrey, show him how to do it. All right, here we go. Oh. Elbows out, mm. elbows out. Mm. Turn the head side, oh, oh you're oh. leaking. Oh. Hey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pretty good. <laughs> Look at your face, clean the mess up. Oh. All right, guys. <laughs>
Can you talk yet? Shotgun Steve Schaefer. This is fish tacos. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, the key to fish in Lake Winnebago, you know, when is basically move, move, move. And that's why, like with our guiding business, we run all permanent shacks. We can move the people, they can stay right in there, all the gear stays right in there. You know, typically it takes us anywhere from, you know, four to six minutes to move a shack with three guys, four people in it, and away we go. But that's the thing, when you gotta remember is when you're fishing, on a lake like this, you're not fishing really any structure. What you're fishing is big, expansive mud flats, and these fish just roam all the time. And you can drop on a pot of fish and maybe catch them for an hour, sometimes four hours, but it can be sometimes also 10 minutes and they can be gone. So you definitely want to be very mobile. You know, one thing you got to remember is when you're not fishing structure, I need to call these fish in. There's no rhyme or reason why they should be right underneath me. So I'm gonna get that bait and get it moving as much flash as I can get out of it and as much vibration to try to draw these fish into me. Here we go. This time I'm taking the transducer out of the water. Now again, look at that hyperglide. That hyperglide absolutely demolished. This is the reason I have my cold snap pick on me. Look at that, poop pops it right out. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lance, we had a great week this week. It was a little slow fishing up on Castle Rock with our ice junkie buddies, yeah. but I tell you what, we had to come back over in our home turf and fish Winnebago and come out for a couple hours with the guys here, and boy, we caught a pile of white bass, a few crappies, a few perch, and we did see a few walleyes today. Lot you know, of today. right? Typically, our better walleye fishing the last couple of years has come when? Uh, first part of February, all the way to the end of February. They start schooling up a little bit better. Right. Able to pinpoint them down a little bit. Their bait dies off a little bit, and we're able to get a few more walleyes. Right. So this time of year, you know, basically we've been the last couple of weeks we've been catching a lot of white bass oodles of them most days, you know, yep. and a few perch and a few crappies mixed in there. But, you know, again, as the season goes on, it's just going to get better and better. Hey, if people want to get a hold of us and do some guiding through us, give them, give them your number. Uh, best way to get a hold of me is area code 920-410-9920. We'll get back to you and get you booked up for a trip. That sounds good. Remember, we supply everything on all our trips. So anything you really need to bring is something to drink and your license and you're pretty much set all full days. You know what? And like I always say, what a great day to be alive. Thanks, buddy. You bet, Larry. Yep, thank you. See if you can show me how to do it here. I'm marking a lot. He's gonna hit. He's on there. Okay, 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 see if we can get him again. Larry, you tied that one. No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. There, got him out of there. Nice. You film it? There goes Lance's bait. We're doing some surgery on this fish. 